and welcome to Random Game Time. This game is called First Project by Mr. Underscore Noonan. I knew a Mr. Noonan. He was a rapper and a PE teacher. He wasn't a very good PE teacher, but he was a good rapper. Um, <laughs> just, just a fun little story for you all. My name is Body. Welcome to Hack of Fun. What will you be hacking? Oh, let's ha hack Pokemons. Enter the password to find the prize. Hint N T T I capital L E. L listen. Well done. Y yay. Oh, Ash. Oh, okay. So it gives me a a fun little Mewtwo. I'm pretty good at this. Pick a chew. That's not right. Pikachu. Oh, I'm too good at this. Oh, it's Pikachu again. I guess there's not that many. Okay, I guess there's only three. Listen's a hard one. Can't type properly. There we go. I guess that's all there is. Me, me too. Okay, listen was a hard one. What about stem share? Uh, Loge? Lego. I, I found the prize. Micro bit. Yes, look at me go. Micro bit again. Lego again. Is there another one for this one? Oh. Uh, 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 oh. 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 Bots. Ooh. Oh. 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 Oh, ooh, ooh, bots. I don't know that one. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, Oz, Otto, Oz, 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 Zopato, Oz, Oh, 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 Obozot. Ovo Toz. Uh, 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 Obotos. I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I can't actually get out of it. No! Okay, let me let me reload the game. Okay, my name is Body. Oh, boo, Booty. Booty. My name is Booty. Let's try Rugby League. Bulldogs. Awesome. Roosters. Yes. Bulldogs again, okay. Sharks. Yay! Warriors. Oh, he's giving us lots of these. Mr. Noonan. <laughs> Could be the same guy for all I know. Uh, roosters. Yeah, I'm good at that one. Okay, two. Stem share. We got Dash. I don't know what Stem share is. Lego. Dash. Uh, EV3? Oh, EV3. Okay. Micro bot. A micro bit, even. And, uh, this one's different. Blue top. Blue bot. Blue bot. There we go. And then EV3. Goal. <laughs> yeah, so that was um, that was that was first project. It's it's okay. I still don't know what that weird Ubox one was. That was very strange. Hello everyone and welcome. This game is called um, uh, Meteor. There's no sound, uh, so it's just a game with no sound, and you simply appear to click on the asteroids. It was a game made quickly. Uh, Q U I C L Y. I'm not sure what that word means. Um, but I'm assuming it, it, it doesn't mean that the game had much effort to put into it. Uh, so, this, this is it. They seem to just get faster as we go, so this is going to be about clicking real fast. Oh, God. Okay, the difficulty has ramped up pretty, oh, especially because the clicking is slightly unresponsive on some of these. So, it, yeah, the clicking is quite unre- Oh, my God! It, 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 
Well, it's going to be hard to beat 340 for keeps going this speed. The, the clicking is highly unresponsive. Uh, and, uh, like, I'm clearly clicking on these, but um, the game's not really doing it because they're going so fast that I have to, like, click under them. There we go. Because the, the clicking on them is not achieving much, so I have to click lower than they are. There we go. Because the clicking is not... Actually, oh god, I've already lost one. It's like Burgerzilla in bloody Papa's games, you know, you have to make the giant burger get up to the high, but you can't drop any of them. It's, it's a, quite a fun game. Um, this, I like these kind of games because they're quite fun, usually. I'm, I am slightly disappointed. It's a bit unresponsive in terms of you have to actually preempt it to get the click because the game doesn't track it very well. Oh, I missed it. Oh, God, it's, it just, it's not getting any easier. <laughs> oh, why doesn't the difficulty reset? Oh, that's really annoying. Okay, well, last one. Oh, I think I got 590. Wow, well, that's done. I got 590. That's the winner, babe. That's all right. That's all right. Be prepared to be satisfied. Satisfied. I don't know if those are the words. I think those are the words. Those are the words I remember in my brain hole. Hello, this game is called Alien Abduction. It's got a cute little alien. Uh, programmed by Andrew Murray, and the artwork was by Kenny and Zachary Slocum. Or Slocum. Ha ha ha! Oh, it could be actually pronounced like that. Uh, I was making a joke. If you put a W in, it would be Slocum, but it could be pronounced Slocum. Or Slocum. Uh, or, or Slocum. Or something of that sort. Um, anyway, or it could be Slocum. Or it could be Slocum. Or something, something of that sort. Uh, anyway, this is Alien Abduction. We're going to read the instructions. How to play. Keep the red bar inside of the green bar and the ship over a person to abduct them. Abduct as many people as you can before the time runs out. Use the arrow keys to move the ship and tap the Z key to keep the red bar inside the green bar. So let's, let's play. Oh my god, what is this? Okay, this is strange. Okay, there we go, got one. Got two. Oh, got three. So what happens if it goes out? Does it stop? Oh, no, okay. Oh, probably should. Oh, God, I'm not very good at this, am I? Got him. Come here, you bastard. Come here, you bastard. Got him. Got him. Got, oh god, got him. Got him. Oh, maybe I can get a few. Ah, you can see if you can abduct multiple people if you're good enough. How do these people not notice that they're being abducted? Like, come on, games. Come on, guys. Games, come on, guys. No, get abducted. I'm sure I could be doing a lot better at this, to be honest. Uh, come on. Oh, oh, come on. Oh, 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 oh. Yes, yeah, so I can oh, I kidnap three guys at once. I'm too good. Okay, get these two. Yeah, come on. You don't want to be abducted. There we go. You weren't really in my shadow. Look, I can get three guys. Oh, I tried to get three guys at once, but they weren't exactly in my shadow. There we go. Grab you. No, don't run off on me. You bastard. No, don't run off on me. I'm going to... Mm. Got them. Oh, I abducted 38. Nice. Let's go again. Let's do one more. Because they take about... They take 100 seconds, which is less like one and a half minutes. Around one and a half minutes. Uh, anyway, we'll um, do one more. We'll see if we can beat our epic score. Now that I actually know what I'm doing and can hopefully do a bit better. No, get back here, mate. You're being abducted. Deal with it. There we go. Got two there. Can I get both of you guys? No, you run off. Oh, my God. Don't run off. Stop it. Oh, this is so difficult. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. Now that I actually know what I'm doing, I'm doing worse. That's generally how it goes, though. Uh, you're almost gotten, so I'll take you. You're almost gotten. Yes, look at this. Okay. 
it's pretty hard to see if I'm actually getting them and then whether I'm actually staying in the green. There we go. Okay. No sound again, but that's, that's fine. Generally, these games don't need sound to impress me. Although games that do have sound, tend to, I tend to like more because there's something actually focusing on other than the shitty game. Usually shitty. I mean, this isn't shit. It's, it's fairly good. When I say fairly good, I mean it's passable for a game. It, they could they could do a lot more more levels, perhaps, or um, more different kinds of people, bigger maps, etc. Not have such a really badly implemented background, potentially. You know, that kind of stuff. I think I got exactly the same. I think I got 38 the first round. Well, there we go. That was that was alien abduction. What well, what a game! Thank you, Zachary Slowcum, with a W for Slowcum, like my penis juices are slow. I don't know. Are they? I don't know. Sorry. This is this is this, this was a very sexual game. That wasn't sexual. I just made it sexual. I'm sorry. Okay, this annoyingly long loading screen is going to be part of the gameplay. So you have less than five minutes to impress me, game, because your loading screen is counting as part of the game. Tick, tick, tick. You're losing seconds to impress me with. It's very sad. Um, this game is called Tanks and Dragons. I mean, it looks kind of pixely. Probably will be shit. Um, but we'll never know if we never make it past this loading screen. So, yeah, um, but I'll give it five minutes to impress me, like I do with every game. If it has five minutes to uh, either keep me playing, uh, for me to finish and give a review of, or for me to quit because I, I, I'm bored uh, or angry or uh, just, just, just insulted. This one I'm, I'm slightly insulted by because, really, this, this loading screen is taking much longer than uh, other games, like Alan Wake had very quick loading screens, and that's, that's a big game that my computer has to run. This one, not so much. Uh, even Team Fortress has, has shorter loading screens, and those loading screens take forever. Hey, look, it's finally loaded. This is Tanks and Dragons. Oh, Jesus Christ. Can I actually move? Oh, God. Very slowly, I'm being eaten. I don't really... What is happening? This is trash. I, I can't move, by the way. Right. What exactly is going on? Like, my bullets don't quite kill them. It takes, it takes three bullets. What's going on? I don't understand. This is horrendous. The sound design is appalling, I can't really, like, what, I, 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 are these supposed to be dragons? And the game's called t Tanks and Dragons, but I only see one tank. So half the title is a lie, well, one third of the title. There is certainly a tank, and uh, there are dragons, so the and is right. I guess the dragons are right, and the tanks is, you know, 50% correct. Um, so technically only one third of the words actually warrant what's going on in the game. Um, I mean some games, you know, like uh, I need to think of some. Uh, let me think of a game. There's more tanks in the bloody opening here. What the hell game? I'm not playing again. That was that was boring. It was all hell. Um, what other games can I think of? Um, like, I mean 1982, which I played for the Saturday series last week, which I absolutely loved and still do, it's an amazing game. Uh, I recommend you go check it out, the game, it's free on Steam, so you know, maybe well. 1982, 1982, very good game. Um, I mean, technically, that, like, it's not a title that's reminiscent of what's happening in the game, but it's definitely not a lie either, because there's no real indication of what you, we can assume 1982 is a year. Um, and it's reminiscent of games from 1982, I'm sure there was a 1982 mode as well, so it's not a lie. Alan Wake, it's about the main character. Alan Wake, not a lie, you know. Uh, team Fortress 2 is the second game in the series. You play as a team and there's a fortress. Not a lie. Uh, Cry of Fear, I didn't cry. I, I did feel fear uh, at least once. And I guess the, the odds just a connector between say, saying that the cry is out of fear. Um, but it could have been cries in Yelp, which I kind of did. I got spooked and went, ah, at least once. So, um, you know, no, 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 is a cry of fear, because it was out of fear. So, again, cry of fear is 100% correct. Tanks and Dragons, however, is a lie, because there's only one tank. There are tanks in this main menu, but the main menu, as we all know, is not indicative of the game. 
Uh, I'm not counting that. There is only one playable tank, therefore this game gets a 0 out of 10 for lying to its consumers. And that you can get sued for. Don't lie to your consumers because that is a no-no. It's very bad morally and it's very bad legally as well. My worst enemy is back. Big black screens with text and black backgrounds. Why do you have to have black backgrounds? I can't tell where the game ends and where the, where the, the, the background begins. Why do you do this to me? This is a text-based farming sim. Oh, Jesus Christ. What is your name? My name is Galoop. Uh, the pal loopy dog the 15th. What is your farm's name? Galoop Deville. Uh, on the coast. There we go. Welcome, Galoop the Pal Loopy Dog the 15th, to Jane Town. Just a few more questions for you. Are you male? I'm a non binary. Do you want. I want both. My cat's name is. is Pussy the. The Wet Pussy. And my dog's name is Woof Woof. Rough. Rough. Doggy Style. 69. Lol. Are you interested in male, female? I'm, I'm, I'm interested in everyone. Okay, you're attracted to everyone regardless of gender. Let's begin. When you were much younger, your grandfather died. He left you to deed to a farm. Really, Gramps? Leaving a five-year-old a farm? But he was, the will stated that you were not to have it or even see the farm until you were 25 years of age. Still, you've gotten lots of practice over the years with your personal garden. And today, the day of your 25th birthday, you will finally be able to put those skills to use. You step out of your cab, bringing two large suitcases with you. It'll be $50, the driver says, as if you'd forgotten to pay him. Can't you just stretch your legs before reaching for your wallet? You must say he's been quite rude for the entire drive. Um, I'll give him exactly what he asked for. You give him exactly what he's asked for. He deserves less just by the way he acted, but you aren't going to risk dealing with the world's smallest and most frivolous lawsuit over some rude asshole. You do slam the door before you can complain about the lucky tip, though. As the cub peels off, you kneel down to pick up your suitcases, then turn towards the land that your grandfather had left you. You notice, stay in the old house is paid as someone waiting for you. You approach the person cautiously, not sure what he, she, or they are doing on your land. You mentally wonder which of your suitcases the D was in, in case you need to prove they're yours, but before you can remember, the person lifts their sunglasses from their face and offers you a bright smile. Hi there! You must be Galoop to Pal Loopy Dog the 15th. I'm Shah, the mayor's daughter. Shah hops down from the patio rather than walking down the ramp and rushes over to you. I was asked to come welcome you properly to my town. My mother's busy, you see. I hope you understand. Uh, it's fine, you say. A bit flustered about thinking that this kind girl was some sort of trespasser. It's really nice to meet you, Shah. Thank you for coming and tell your mother thanks for sending you. Of course, but first the tour, Shah says, beaming. You look around the area in confusion, huh? The tour of what, you ask? Well, today we'll just be looking around the house, Shah explains. Tomorrow my mom will show you around town. Oh, okay, you say. Then you remember something. I have the deed for the lamp. I was never given a key to the house. Shah nods. You have to get that from my mom. Don't worry, though. I made sure the door was unlocked. Oh, great. So I can't lock the door tonight. Well, that's grand. The house is surprisingly clean for not having been used for at least 20 years. My mother and I spent all the past week fixing the place up, Shah says, smiling at you when she notices your shop. Does it look good? It's only been unexpected, you say. She sighs in relief and begins to tour properly. This is the living room, she says, motion to the area standing. Or while it would be, all there is is a TV. She smiles nervously. Sorry. I was expected to be empty, so it's fine. Shah relaxes. She motions over to the left area of the house. Down that way is the kitchen. I left you a few recipes on the counter so you don't always have to eat out at the town's restaurant. Although I'm sure Sandra and Charis would appreciate it. She giggles. <laughs> then moves towards the stairs. They're directly across from the door. Feel free to explore this area some more if you want, but there's not much to see. When you're ready, come upstairs and I'll continue the tour. Let's examine the TV. You walk over to the TV, which happens to be sitting on a small table, or smolly, a smolly table. Oh, they're my favourite kind of tables. You know, they're, they're really nice. Uh, the TV's an old one. You flick it on. Local news station, 24-hour weather station, shopping network. They showcase your dress with purple flowers. It's $200. Oh, damn. You leave the living area and enter the kitchen. No dishwasher. Fine with washing by hand. Sorry, I'm just kind of reading over it now because I want to kind of see if anything else happens. I can keep flicking between these two like I'm a weird dude. 
Uh, I don't know what this is saying. It's it's wonderful. It's seeds, isn't it? Uh, I open it. It looks like tomato. Let's unpack. Let's see if I have my dogs and cats. I'm going to save my game and go to sleep. Uh, let's go to the next day. I'm going to eat breakfast. I'm going to answer the door. Yes, ma'am. Uh, are you sure you don't need help? I, I left the shop. Uh, let's let's go see the florist because I like flowers. Uh, so I'm gay. Uh, library. I love it. Yeah, I approach the person at the counter. Approach the person at the table. Back to Gail. Let's go to the clinic. Uh, meet Amanda. Yay, blacksmith time. <laughs> Oh, tailor time, restaurant time, ho ho, off to town hall, town hall, uh, you go home. Oh, that's it. Okay. <laughs> well, I mean, I got through the game, I didn't get to see my cat pussy to wet pussy or woof woof, rough rough, doggy style lol 69. I think that's the one. To do. Yeah, yeah, they're my dog and cat, uh, yeah. Thank you for watching this random game time. I'm sure I'm sure it was great. It became a lot more sexual than I wanted it to be, and I, I apologize. We'll just call it sexy fun sexual times. I don't know what I'll call it. I'll call it some shit. I, I always come up with some shit. Um and it always turns out fine. And by fine I mean they all get at least one view, uh, which is me, editing, and then they get at least another two. Uh, presumably from either me editing or, or Cody or Gaddy or someone like that. I don't really have friends or, or subscribers or anything. I'm a, I'm a lonely, lonely boy. I just want to be loved! Ah, love me! Don't worry. Pussy the wet pussy and wolf wolf rough rough. Doggy style lol 69 love me, I'm sure. I'm just gonna go now. Goodbye. This is a new outro song. I'm saying goodbye because the video has ended. Da, da, da. Da, 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 da. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and come back and watch some more as they come online.